Thursday evening. It's been a bit over a week since I vlogged last and I have been here over two weeks now and I still hasn't got it yet, haven't got a job. But um, this last week has really really been a week of big big upsides and big great downsides. Um, should we start with the downsides just to get rid of them? Um, firstly, my wallet got stolen last Thursday a week ago, so now I really literally don't have any money at all. I am really literally living by borrowed money. I have borrowed from my roommate and is living on practically nothing. I'm <laughs> I'm living on toast that I'm actually stealing stealing from the morning table here because it's free. So that has been my lunch the last week, the last couple of days. And I have been living on yogurt uh, at a, uh, in in the evening because that's kind of the cheapest and you know, after experimenting a bit between yogurt and just poor bread I figured out that yogurt would taste better and just feels a bit more in the stomach but not much. I'm still very, very hungry when I wake in the morning so very lucky me that there is a free morning tea before me with toast. Um, yeah, but as I said, really, really great upsides too. Um, Wednesday last week, over a week ago, um, I saw celebs. I saw my first celebrities ever. I have never ever before in my entire life seen international celebrities and I saw them to this opening night at a movie called The Fantastic Mr. Fox. Four celebrities. I saw George Clooney, Mary Strip, Owen Wilson and the guy I wanted to see the most, Bill Murray. I love Bill Murray and it was so cool. Um, too bad he was kind of the shyest one. It was funny because George Clooney, who I don't care much for, was really really outgoing and smiling and waving and yelling back and he didn't realize why Bill Murray he seemed tired. Yes, um, not really wanting to be there, but I guess I can forgive him because he's an old star. He has been around long, and it was kind of just a smaller premiere for him. <laughs> he was even only mentioned as name number four out of four. And so, but it was really, really cool seeing him, and it was really cool seeing him. Everyone and I was really up close. And I even arrived pretty late. I mean, I arrived 10 minutes before something like that. And I only had to wait. And I was really close. And I could see, I saw them at Piccadilly. Um, so that was fantastic. And I have been invited to ExcelCon, which I had no idea was there next Saturday. Um, the day after tomorrow and I am looking so much forward to it I mean Tom Baker is gonna be there, the fourth doctor um, Craig Charles who plays Lister in Red Dwarf uh, the uh, Merlin panel um, the actors from the television serial Merlin and a lot of shops and a lot of gigs and I'm looking so much forward to it I have again I have never in my life to an international convention. Um, I have never been to a panel, I have never been to an autograph signing. I mean, I have been to an autograph signing by a Danish book author, but when you're living in Denmark and it's such a small country, it doesn't feel that special. But this, it's huge! And I, I can't tell how high I am. I am really, really, really high. I am going to meet Tom Baker and Craig Charles. I mean, do you want a jelly baby? <laughs> oh, it's it, it's amazing. It really is. Um, 
What does she say? No job, unfortunately. I haven't been to two job interviews. I haven't heard for one of the places and didn't get the other. But it's and I really, really need to get a job soon. I mean, I really like being here. I don't want to go home. It's great. Despite being ill, I mean, I was really ill. I had uh, the worst cough. Uh, I wasn't even, I didn't have a cold, um, just a cough, and my chest hurts insanely, it did hurt insanely. I even was confined to bed for an entire day, um, and the day before that I was also really ill, I had a fever, but had to go to my job interview anyhow, uh, last Monday, but I pulled through, and haven't heard from the place, but I really want that place. It looks so gorgeous. In this um, restaurant, and it looks like such a great place to work. So right in Soho, right in central London. So I, I'm just hoping. I'm really, really hoping for that job. I want it so much. Um, uh, it's strange when you sit and talk like that because I know I have experienced it so much during the last week. And I just can't remember what I did. Uh, seeing celebrities. Um, oh, I, I bought a Dalek, um, which is this enemy alien from Back the Who, which is awesome. And of course, I bought it for the sole purpose of having some bigger signing it at Saturday. Uh, oh my god, that thing is gonna be the prize in my figure collection. Um, I, I'm collecting uh, figures, quality figures. I just imagine that a Doctor Who darling with Tom Baker's autograph on it. <gasps> oh my god, I'm so hyped. Uh, yeah. I should have something interesting. Well, believe it or not, the thing I miss the most is my chorus and singing with it at home. Suddenly, I just miss my singing lessons. And I'm kind of starting to miss my family too. But so much is happening. I don't really have time to miss them and I just really love being here. I mean, love is, is great. It's so beautiful. And the city is really stuff growing on me, if you know what I mean. I really, really want to stay here uh, for a long while. So I just really pray. So I can just stay and experience and meet some more people. Oh yeah, I have met the greatest people who I really could talk to and I still love British accent. I mean British accent is the best accent in the world. Go home America. Uh, and they are all so nice and really really want to learn to know some better and see what happens so but whew, that was long 10 minutes but now they are over so if you can hear uh, uh, my voice is not fully restored after the cough but I hope that is fine to next week uh, well, if you have any questions, you can just ask them in the comments and I will answer. I have a lot of stories, which I can't remember now, right now, but you take care and I pray for me and I cross my fingers and I hope that some of you will pray for me and I hope I will get a job and I hope I can stay and tell some good stories in the future. So, see you later.